Welcome to Cole's Mad Creations. So on today's DIY Mad Project, we're going to be working on my back door. Now, my back door is great. It has a really large window in there, allows a lot of natural light to come through, allows my nosy neighbors and perverts to look through there. Just kidding. Hopefully. But I would like to create some privacy, and I'm going to do that using permanent glass paint. So, that being said, let's crush this. So once you've got your design attached to the outside of your door, you're going to want to take the door off the hinges. And for an exterior door, you can't exactly pop the pins like an interior door. You actually have to unscrew the hinge. And it is important to take off on the door side, not the jam side. Because sometimes the installer will actually use longer screws on the jam side to suck it over to get a nice reveal down, down the edge. And if you remove those screws, the jam will actually pull out as you're pulling the screw out. And when you go to put your door back, it might not go the same way. Therefore, your door might not fit back as nice. So it's important to take the door hinge off the actual door itself. Once you have your hinges off, you can place your door on some sole horses, making sure that your door is perfectly level. Then you can start tracing your design using your imitation lead of your choice. Now a tip here is that when you're starting your design, make sure you take a step back now and again. If you're working on a double pane of glass, it's extremely important that you do remember to do this because the two panes of glass give off a double effect of the lines and sometimes your lines can go a little bit wonky. So I found it actually easier on keeping one eye closed and standing directly over top of my work. And this actually eliminated the double effect created by the two panes of glass.
as you can see, my back door is up and it looks fantastic. It came out exactly the way that I wanted it to. The only thing I have to say about it is 804 pieces single-handedly colored in with a toothpick. Yikes. And I still have my front door and my side light to do as well. So make sure you keep a lookout for those upcoming videos by liking, subscribing, and hitting that notification button down below. So that way you'll be notified when I upload my next videos. So that being said, let's roll the final shot.